This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome. Hi, viewers. Today in this video, we will discuss more questions for starting from Mission American B1 related to the chapter problem solving. We have discussed 20 questions in the last video and all the start from Mission American B1. And the question is why is flow chart design necessary to solve a problem? Or this question can be asked as write down the advantages of using flow chart or why is flow chart designed to solve a problem or what are advantages of flow chart write any two of them or oh, this question can be there are multiple ways to which this question can be asked or discuss all these like combined next question why is flow chart designed to solve the problem the answer is the logic of an algorithm can be described more effectively with the help of flow chart number two maintenance of operational programs becomes easy number three one thing is flow charts act as a guide for the program development number four it helps in debugging process Debugging process is all that is discussed with you that the process of finding and removing from uh, uh, errors from a computer program is called debugging. It's a very important process by making this program. For a successful program execution, debugging is always required. Next question, number 22. Question is write two limitations of flow chart. The other way of asking this same question write down the limitations of flow chart or describe the limitations of flow chart. The answer is number one, it's difficult to draw flow chart for complex problems. Number two, alterations changes are required flow chart is to be Redrawn. So these are the two limitations of the flow chart. Next question number 23. Differentiate between algorithm and flow chart. So I have drawn a table for a better explanation. First column contains all the points related to the algorithm, and the second column is for the flow chart. So we will start from here. An algorithm is a finite set of steps to accomplish a particular task, whereas flowchart is the pictorial representation of an algorithm. Next point, it helps to accomplish a particular task, algorithm. It is easy way of representing the flow of data and operation. Next point, algorithm. An algorithm must be clear, finite, and effective. We talk about both chart is similar to the layout plan of a building. Next point, last point of algorithm. It consists of a sequence of number steps in finite. We call it finite as well. Type finite the bracket for better understanding. Next and last time, the flow chart is drawn according to the defined rule. 
next question number 24 why is cause symbol used in flow chart the answer is processing symbol and the symbol the panel is used to indicate computation steps in the flow chart so that's the answer of this question next question number 25 which symbol is used for process the answer is the tangle symbol is used for the process in a flow chart next question number 26 write the use of flow lines the answer is flow lines represent the direction of flow of information in the flow chart in this box called symbol. Next question, number 27, what is the purpose of rectangle symbol used in flow chart? The answer is, rectangle symbol is used for processing in flow chart. Next question, number 28, Write down any two symbols of flow chart and their purpose. The answer is symbols of flow chart. Number one, terminal oval symbol is used to start in a flow chart. Number two, diamond symbol is like. Diamond symbol is used for decision making. The answer is diamond symbol is used for decision making whether the condition becomes true or false. So this diamond symbol is used for decision making whether the condition becomes true or false. And next question number 29, right? The purpose of character in a flow chart. If the flow chart becomes complex, it is better to use another symbol to reduce the number of flow lines. Circle this symbol. Circle is the symbol of connection. Next question. Diamond symbol is used for which purpose in a flow chart? The diamond symbol is used for indicating a decision in the flow chart. Next question. 31. The question is we are reversing. Provide any two guidelines for the whole chart. Must be clear, clean, and easy to understand. Number two, only one line is used with. Terminal symbol. Next question, dear viewers. Number 32. Question is Annotation symbol is used for which purpose? The answer is rewrite. Symbol. The symbol of comments or the 
education. For more explanation of different processes. Next question. Number three. Question is number thirty-three. Write down the advantages of flow chart. Write down two advantages. The question is of flow chart. Answer is number one. Flow chart of help to solve out errors number two it works as a guide for making program next question is number 34 the question is Number 34 question is what is the difference between syntax and a logical error or the our table like this We'll write the syntax errors over here and the logical error over here. So the syntax error we'll write about it. The syntax error occurs when the program violates one or more grammatical rules of the programming language about the logical error. Logical error occurs when the program follows a wrong logic. Next point. These are detected during the execution of a program, and the logical errors are detected by thoroughly. testing the program. Next point, syntax errors. These are, sorry, the translators displays an error message for syntax error. And these can be identified logical error. These can be identified by just looking at the wrong output of a program. Next question. Dear viewers, number 35, next question, number 35, 
question is what is meant by program implementation the answer is the process of taking the program and placing it into operation is called operation we can call it process is called program implementation so viewers uh, chapter problem solving so we have discussed in this video from question number 30 till 35 so you can understand that we have discussed each and every definition is very carefully and we also discussed that a single question can be asked in multiple ways several ways technically so we need to be very well aware of that so what is meant uh, for these questions and how can we give answers to every question related to problem solving chapter that's all thanks for watching my video <laughs>